Today we started in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and we rode into Westville, Oklahoma. We crossed the state line together and um, we were welcomed home. And that was absolutely amazing. But we will have 25 more miles tomorrow and we'll end in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, the capital of Cherokee Nation. I've been looking forward to this for weeks now. And now that I'm here, it's so surreal. Like seeing my, my mom and my parents and seeing people that I know, like it's been so encouraging, but it's just so surreal that I'm, you know, we're almost done. So I'm very excited to be back here and be back home. My expectations were definitely met. <laughs> um, I expected it to be very hard physically and it was, and I knew mentally and emotionally, spiritually, it would be challenging and it was um, more so than I expected. And I think that it's something that if anybody ever has the opportunity to do, they should 100% take that opportunity. I think the most memorable places for me were the areas where our people went to water but one that stuck with me that I did not expect for it to was at Mantle Rock. While we were there, um, I was sitting with Desiree and we were looking around and we saw our teams huddled around each other, sitting there talking. And we just knew like, this is what it looked like. This is what it is. And it's crazy to know like they were there, but we're, they were there with us too. I think my expectations were that it was gonna be very physically demanding but there were a lot of times where it was more of a mental thing. I would go up a mountain and in my head, I would think I can't do this, but it feels, it felt like someone was there beside me, pushing me along and also my teammates. I'm so grateful for them because they are so supportive. And anytime I felt down, I wouldn't have to say anything. I would hear one of them say, you're almost there, you got this. Um, another thing is we love to think that butterflies that we see are our ancestors and we had been walking along a few of the um, original trails and there were butterflies that would like sit on our shoulder and follow us the whole way up so anytime I saw a butterfly that was just another reason to keep pushing as well. I think Cumberland will stick with me. We went up it together. Um, us five Cherokee Nation girls went up it right beside each other. Um, Sarah Holcomb once told us it doesn't hurt you to go slower. So we all stuck together and whoever was struggling, we stayed with them. And we were able to talk and reminisce on training and how far we've come and what we were actually doing and why we were doing it. And that's something that's really gonna stick with me because I was able to process where I was and who I was doing it for. And I was able to really look around and see the land that my ancestors saw and that they had to leave.